This is how you can make a QR code generator command for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get access to the source code from this video or any other video on my channel, you can do so by joining a membership on YouTube or a subscription over on Discord. On Discord, if you get the god or custom bot tier, you will get access to that source code. And over on YouTube, if you get the super god or custom bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. Of course, on both platforms, if you purchase the custom bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. And if this is of interest to you, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this, and let's go ahead and get into the video. So we can start off by going over to community here, and we're going to go ahead and create QR code.js. And here we can do const. So we're going to go ahead and get our slash command builder. We can also get our embed builder, and we're going to set that equal to require, and we're going to get discord.js. Then we can do const axios equals require, and we're going to get that package. Make sure you install this, otherwise that is not going to work. And we can do module.export, so we can go ahead and open this up. We're going to get data, which is going to be our new slash command builder. Then we can go ahead and set a name. This can be QR code. And we can go ahead and set a description. And we can go ahead and say it creates a QR code. Then we can go ahead and add a string option. And we're going to do option arrow function option dot set name. This is going to be our URL. And we can go ahead and set a description. We can go ahead and say the URL for the QR code. And we're going to go ahead and set required to true. We do a comma. We're going to do async execute. So we can go ahead and get our interaction. And we can go ahead and open this up. In here, we're going to go and start by deferring a reply. And we're going to go ahead and set informal in this reply to true. That way, only you can see this message. Next, we can go ahead and get our options. And we're going to go ahead and set that equal to our interaction so that we can use it to call the URL option. Then we can do const URL equals. And we're going to get options that get string. And that is going to be our URL string. Then after doing that, we can go ahead and get our input. So we can do const input equals. And we're going to go ahead and make a new object. We can do method. And that is going to be get. And we can do URL. I'm going to go ahead and copy this in. You can go ahead and click the link in the description below to get to the API where you can actually go ahead and copy this link in. So then after doing that, we can go ahead and get our parameters. And we're going to go ahead and open this up. We're going to get our type, which is going to be URL. And we're going to get our value, which is going to be the URL variable. Then after doing that, we can get our headers. And we're going to open up this object. We can get our X rapid API key. And I'm going to go ahead and set this as blank for now. I'm going to go ahead and add my API key in later. Please add your API key in now. Otherwise, this code will not work for you. Then we can go ahead and do our X and we can get our rapid API host. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this link in again. This will be in the rapid API link in the description. Same with the API key. So if you're looking for that, that is in the description below uh, for you. So then after doing that, we can add a colon here and we're going to go ahead and try and open this up. We're going to do const outputs and we can do await and we're going to go ahead and get axios that request and we can just go ahead and input our input into that request. Next, we can go ahead and do our embed. So we can do const embed equals new embed builder. And we're going to go ahead and set a color. I'm going to go ahead and make this blurple. And we can go ahead and set an image. This is going to be our output.data.url. So we're going to get the URL of the QR code that it's going to go ahead and generate. We can go ahead and do await interaction dot edit reply to go ahead and send this. And we're going to go ahead and get our embed. So we're setting our embed with the QR code in it. And we're going to go ahead and catch an error. We can go ahead and open this up. I'm going to go in console.log.error so that if we get the error, we know what it is. And then we can also go ahead and await interaction.edit reply. And we're going to go ahead and get our contents. And we can say that URL is not valid. Try again with a different URL. And that's actually all we have to do. So make sure you go ahead and put in your API key in now if you haven't already. All right, so over the Discord server here, we can go ahead and get our QR code command. So I'm just going to go ahead and input my channel URL. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that link in here, and we can actually go ahead and send it. As you can see here, it's going to go ahead and write out our embed and put this generated QR code in here. So I'm going to go over onto my phone, and we can actually go ahead and scan that QR code here. So as you can see, if we go ahead and click on YouTube and we open it up, it's going to go ahead and open up my YouTube channel just like that. So we can actually go ahead and try this again with one more example here. I'm just going to go ahead and input my channel name. So this is not a URL. This is actually a search term. So if we go ahead and put that in there, it's going to go ahead and generate a QR code. Back over on the phone, if we go ahead and scan it, it's going to bring up the QR code and we can actually open it up. And it's actually going to go ahead and open up Google with 
um, the search term Mr. Awesome, as you can see there. So this does work with the links and it also works with search terms, just in case you're wondering with that. So that's you can generate QR codes using your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and create a, a new help post and we'll be able to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.